grade sixes, I'm just posting this video to go over what it is that we talked about in our Zoom meeting on Wednesday. So we talked about solid figures, which are shapes that take up space or have volume. We usually call these 3D shapes, but in math, they get the name of solid figures. And we're going to talk about some of the characteristics of those shapes today. I've split the information into two videos. The first video is going to be about the difference between a pyramid and a prism. And the second video will be about faces, edges, and vertices. So here on the screen, you can see some pictures of pyramids at the top and prisms at the bottom. And I'm going to talk about the ways that they are different from each other. So you can see that pyramids have a point at their top. They have one base that they sit on. That base can be any shape. It can be a triangle, a square, a rectangle, an octagon, but they all come to that point up at the top. Prisms, on the other hand, have a flat top because really they have two bases. They have two of the same shape, the top and the bottom. So they could be triangles, they could be rectangles, they could be pentagons, any shape for their base. Um, but there are two of them, and that's why they're flat at the top. Pyramids have triangles for their sides. So they sit on one shape. Again, that shape can be any shape, but their sides are always triangles because they come to a point at the top. Because prisms have a flat top, their sides are always rectangles. So again, they'll have those bases. Those bases will be any shape, but they will, the sides that come up from the bottom base to the top base will always be rectangles, making that flat top. We can name pyramids and prisms based on the shape of their base. So once you've decided whether or not you're looking at a pyramid with that pointy top, or whether you're looking at a prism with that flat top, then you can name it. And here are some examples. So here we have a pyramid because it's got that point at the top and we can look at its base. So this has a base of a triangle. It's sitting on a triangle coming up to a point at the top. Because this pyramid is sitting on a base of a triangle, we call it a triangular pyramid. So the name of the shape comes first, the shape of the base, and then whether it's a pyramid or a prism. So this is a triangular pyramid. This one is also a pyramid because it has the point at the top, so we know it's a pyramid, and we're going to call it a rectangular pyramid. You could probably also call it a square pyramid because we don't have a ruler to measure the sides, but its base is a rectangle or a square, depending on how you're looking at it, and that's what gives it its name. So in this case, they've called it a rectangular pyramid. Here we see a prism because it has a flat top. This has two triangle bases, one on the bottom that's flashing in purple and one up uh, top above it making that flat top. And so we call this a triangular prism. Note that the other sides are all rectangles. Here we have a rectangular prism. So again, it's got that rectangle flashing in purple at the bottom and the exact same size rectangle above it, making that flat top. So because the base of this prism is a rectangle, we call it a rectangular prism. 